that is when your body goes into full mommy mode my boobs started just feeling like they're burning the baby was huge it felt like he's sitting here <laughs> okay let's do this in three two one it's thrive time Hello beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to Thrive Out Loud, and as always it's such a pleasure sitting here sharing a little bit of myself with you. If you are new here or just happen to stumble upon this channel, thank you so much for giving it a chance, clicking on here to find out what, what is really going on in this house. Please consider clicking on the subscribe button, please join our beautiful family, we're happy to have you always happy to extend our family if you are a returning subscriber a day one bona thank you so much for taking another minute of your time to spend time with this girl first things first house rules please remember to like comment subscribe click on the bell notification and consider sharing this video with whoever anybody you never know who needs to hear what disclaimer i am no registered professional in any of the things i talk about i'm merely sharing my experience in the different aspects of life and in the different topics that we do cover so please eat the meat spit out the bones dala what you must so this is part two of my pregnancy journey i'm not really sure how many parts we're gonna have i'm just trying not to make the videos too long so now we're getting into basically right after i discovered that there's a bun in the oven i had just completed my btech i am working but the company i'm working for was not really stable sometimes we'd get paid sometimes our salaries would be late i'm not married my boyfriend and i are not living together at the time and you are a south african an african child who is having a baby out of wedlock there was that and obviously the overall stress of this new chapter in my life right so obviously pregnancy on its own is a heavy heavy bona it sits over here because in the african culture or whatever i don't know if it's just me but there's this thing of not disclosing what is happening for the first three months just to preserve what's going on and protect your child and protect yourself should anything happen and then you can start you know sharing with your people and obviously people can start seeing so for the first three months of my pregnancy i still had my abs y'all i was still working out um i'd say almost every day on the days when i didn't work out is because i felt sick to my stomach and the sickness was actually in my stomach but life kind of continued as normal apart from the slug that i'd have in the morning like i'd wake up in the morning really tired whenever i'd brush my teeth my gums would be swollen that's that bleeding and the first whiff of anything that has been cooked would send me straight to the bathroom to throw up and yeah obviously those were the undesirables of pregnancy but looking back my skin was popping everything was glowing everything was lovely and my sex drive was up there which was obviously a bonus for somebody and yeah then um that's when i started my is it prenatal antenatal prenatal 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 appointments so you basically start visiting the gynae the doctor or your gp or the clinic just to basically take your vitals on a regular basis and to check if your baby is coming along well if you are coming along well if your blood pressure is normal because a lot of people start to experience certain health complications during pregnancy and without your prenatal antenatal i'm still the word is just but yeah without those the hospital visits or the clinic visits or the doctor's visits then you basically you don't know what it is that you're dealing with until it's very late and then you know jiggy jiggy there's just complications all over the show so i started with those pretty early and i remember my doctor recommended that i get this other like ginger candy i remember i got them from discam in the pregnancy aisle so they basically um they help with the nausea and they help with the throwing out so they basically reduce all of that and that is my absolute game changer i'll see if i can find a link and just plug it somewhere down here 
and then the first trimester quickly came to an end because that was from that was october november and december but obviously because for the first month i was completely unaware i only kind of had two months of the first trimester and then somewhere around december um then i started to notice a little bit of a difference on my midsection but a stranger wouldn't be able to tell because like i said i still had my abs and girl was still popping but i just noticed that was a bit rounding and i'll see if i can attach some pictures from back then then january went back to work and mind you that was tricky tricky times tricky times we hadn't been paid i think for the last three months by the time we got to january of 2020 and now i'm newly pregnant and i'm trying to plan for my kid i'm trying to you know you're just trying to fetch your life get it in order so that this new person doesn't find you just with a heap of puzzle pieces that you don't know where to put but anyway life was going on and the morning sickness was gone completely i think it went with the first trimester and there was no nausea but obviously there was some food that were that i was now scared of consuming so eggs i'd only have it boiled and i wouldn't have chicken that was basically water boiled or whatever or fried i needed my chicken grilled and like i was just so picky when it came to food i wanted these like odd food like i'd i'd eat tomatoes raw tomatoes with salt or with spice like um a lemon with a lot of salt on it or like the craziest thing sour worms were my favorite and yeah so they, those were some of the cravings that i had i didn't really like fizzy drinks much i loved the mcdonald's orange juice i just felt like it had the right amount of everything and to this day it's amazing how my son really loves it and i'm just yeah so second trimester i feel like that is the quickest trimester because there isn't a lot of drama happening besides watching your belly grow and the part where your kid starts kicking oh my gosh that was the, my favorite part of the second trimester so my second trimester was from january february and march and that is when my bump grew a little bit and obviously that was time to kind of disclose to whoever still had a question mark so yes we expect it um the pregnancy progressed and i kept working out and i feel like it was during my second trimester when my energy levels picked up because now you're not feeling sick all the time like you're not feeling woozy and dizzy and you don't feel like throwing up every single time you move my energy levels definitely picked up and i just enjoyed um this new phase i was walking into and i <clears throat> enjoyed my new curves you know my boobs became very lovely and my bum as well it was just very lovely and my abs were still on top of my baby bum which was crazy right so the second trimester like i said kind of went on really quickly just came and went and then the third trimester came and i feel like for me that is where the drama was the drama was there by trimester three because up until this point i was still normal like if i was facing straight ahead you wouldn't be able to tell that i was pregnant i'll see if i can find some pictures somewhere here so my last trimester was from april may and then june because baby boy was born on the 24th of june then obviously that is when your body goes into full mommy mode my boobs started just feeling like they're burning the baby was huge it felt like he's sitting here <laughs> on my throat it felt like i needed to pee every two minutes whenever i drink something i'd literally need to get up and go pee and your belly's getting so big it's now starting to press on your pelvis starting to press on your black everything is squished and now when i look back at the pictures of myself when i was pregnant it feels like i was so silly because my belly was literally it was literally this big literally this big i'll find some pictures to attach somehow um but back then it just felt like my whole existence was being squished and i remember a couple of appointments that i had somewhere around the third trimester somewhere late around the tr third trimester and i was told that my baby was still breech so basically the baby's head was still up here and his little legs were still down there and we needed him to be in the opposite direction because my plan was to give birth vaginally the plan was to push the baby out of my hoo-ha and if he's still facing up obviously the chances of that happening are now minimizing and reducing as the day goes on then um by now i am serious about you know the labor and delivery the anxiety is piling up but also i am not scared of things that do not talk me now i am the girl and i'm going to take it like a pro hey laugh with me laugh with me
me anyway now i am full on on everything that has to do with labor and delivery i already researched and googled and extra researched all the tips and tricks everything that can go wrong during labor how you can maybe try to prevent it how to combat it bona how to turn your baby when your baby is still in breach beyond 32 or 34 weeks i can't recall how not to tear during birth how to make sure like yo how to just make everything flexible down there for your baby to come out how to induce labor the orange juice and castor oil tricks the whole shebang but one thing that remained consistent throughout my pregnancy i worked out every single morning i think until about two weeks before i gave birth or a week i think until a week before i gave birth because by then everything was just aching everything was just swollen and wrong and yo uh -uh. so during my last trimester that's when we had my uh, maternity photo shoot and that is when we had and that is when i packed my hospital bag and that is when we set up the baby's baby's corner in our room and that is basically when you know what we we are having a baby this baby is coming and the excitement is there the anxiety is there hey where now we in the third trimester as well that is where my nose took over my whole entire face and my whole neck was black actually navy black and i couldn't see my toes and my tummy felt so tight but i just made sure that you know what you know what you keep it moving you do what you must and by the third trimester i had lost interest in having healthy food hey by the third trimester i was having whatever i wanted to like I was, yeah. by the third trimester i was just mixing everything and anything together whatever baby wanted baby got in the next installment i'll be getting into some tips and tricks um that helped me during my pregnancy just basically habits i adopted during my pregnancy that i felt like helped prevent stretch marks helped prevent tearing during birth helped prevent you know nipples crackling and whatnot and yeah basically new mommy mumbles please do return for the next dose thank you for coming bye <laughs> Thank you.